The University of Hawaii Board of Regents created a permitted action group today. Its purpose to investigate the university's stewardship and oversight of activities on Mauna Kea. Jen Boniza has more. Jen? Joe, the vote took place after hours of testimony was given, all of which was opposed to construction of the 30 meter telescope. Several regions had concerns about how the public may react to meetings the group would be allowed to hold in secret. Others claim the group is necessary to give them an opportunity to weigh in on what's happening on Mauna Kea. You guys have the ability right now, as everyone is watching, to handle what is going to be the reputation, what is going to be the memory of the University of Hawaii. Will the generations to come feel proud of what we are doing today? I ask that the university terminate supports and efforts to build the TMT in Hawaii. More than 100 people signed up to testify before the Board of Regents. Almost all of them urged the board to help stop construction of the 30 meter telescope on Mauna Kea. After four hours of testimony, the regents voted 11 to 1 to create a permitted action group tasked with investigating the issues surrounding Mauna Kea. But there were concerns raised regarding the scope and transparency surrounding the group. I think that process is not beneficial because I think it would give rise to suspicion about what was discussed outside of the open uh, meetings. Others were eager to finally have a voice, something the action group will give them. Most of us who are currently on this board have never taken a vote on the things that are happening in Malaysia. Yeah. I think it's important for UH, the UH system, for Hawaii, for, for us to find a way as regents to give our perspective, and that requires us to debate it. The group's meetings will be held in private, but they will give status reports during the monthly Board of Regents meetings. The permitted action group is made up of six members of the Board of Regents. Back to you, Joe.